All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Miss Nakatara episode two. Hella, er hella earlier than it should be, which I'm not happy about because for some reason Crunchyroll or whoever deals with this shit, fucking, uh, they br decided to bring out the episode a week early. In fact, this came out like 24 hours before this is actually being recorded, I think, or maybe even more. Um, for some reason, they were just like, hey, we should just release episode two early. And apparently they're also releasing episode three on the same day this week. So we're getting two episodes this week, which is good in a sense for, you know, the average anime viewer. I do, you know, enjoy the anime. For a reaction YouTuber, not so much. Messes with the schedule, which is why this is later than it's actually been released. So apologies for that. Blame Crunchyroll and whoever. But yeah, um, I don't want to... There's not really much to talk about in the last episode. It was obviously just the usual kind of hijinks um, and sadism from Nagatoro. I'm looking forward to this episode, though. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Is she going to blow dart him? Oh my god. Good shot. <laughs> you know, just thinking about it, actually, and I'm only like really considering this two episodes into season two of this anime, but I find it really nice that they can just chill with each other, even in silence as they just were. It, like that they have that comfortability with each other. Hello, President. How are you doing? I mean by slacking off, this man is always in this room. Why motherfuckers in anime always got like random tickets to the zoo and shit? I've seen this trope before. Yeah? Who's imagining this sight right now? Why don't you invite the cat-eared girl? Oh my god, she's gonna arrive. She's literally like a cat. Oh my god, this is so cute. She's looking up all these cute ideas. Ask her, bro. Come on, ask her. She's waiting for it. Bro, she's waiting on it. Come on. Tell her. Invite her. Oh, did she say this back in season one? Uh huh. <laughs> She's like playing into it as well. See, bro, come on. She's giving you the yes. <laughs> but that's not that's not a no though. Come on. Come on. She's giving you so many yeses. Did you say this out loud? No, he didn't. Oh, this man. She is feeding you the bait so hard, dude. Come on. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Mission success. And now that she's drained the blood from him to get that out of him, and she's she's being sadistic again. I love it. <laughs> See how easy that was, bro? Bro, you guys are best friends at this point. You can ask her whatever you want. Look at him looking mighty fresh and stylish. Oh, isn't she dress cute as well? Oh, no! Oh, that's so mean! No way! That's what she thought that meant. Oh my god. Nagatoro, you fiend. Aww. Cutie. <laughs> I love these things. What are they called? Like, um, red pandas? Is that what they are? Yeah, the red panda. Look at him just there, standing menacingly. Oh no, bro's gonna be drawing this entire day. Nah, I'm sure she doesn't want that. I mean, she gets to spend time with him outside of school regardless, so... She's very supportive. She's nice. It's funny, all this, like, 
outrageous shit she says. And then if he were to watch, she'd be like, okay. Hold my hand or something like that. And she'd be like... <gasps> Did she draw that or did he? Oh, okay. I thought she drew that. Jesus. Yeah, are you sure you want this? Okay. Are, are. She's doing this because she doesn't think he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, she's not really bothered by him holding the hand. Never mind. I thought she'd be bothered by it. Does he even know what he's drawing right now? It's probably just scribbles. Yeah, so floppy all of a sudden. Some innuendos in this episode, aren't there? That's good! Bro is talented! Using someone else's hand and a pencil. That's pretty good. <laughs> Fucking tentacle. I love it. That is way too close to a hippo for my liking. No thank you. You gotta love someone who's motivated and who loves their craft. It's nice to see. You know what? That's not even that bad. I could not draw I couldn't draw that. That's pretty cute. It could be like a mascot or something. I mean, yeah, man's talented. What can you say? Practice? Surely? Maybe he was better at it because Nag Nagatoro was there. It's all about love, you know? Having an interest in what he's drawing. I seem to remember the art exhibition. What was he drawing? That's a cute elephant. That, that could easily be like a logo mascot or something. Why the fuck did y'all come to fucking zoo then? Gross. Y'all are gross. Wait, who? When? I don't even know who this is. Uh, bro, I don't even know you. Get off my sketchbox. For real. Be patient, bro. Let the idiots pass. Oh, did he insult Nagatoro's drawing? He ain't gonna let that slide. What a deadbeat relationship. My god, get alive. Yeah, you know I'd fox. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at this big man thinking he's big shit. Nagatoro, come knock this bitch out. Do we know these people? Were they in season one? At some point? That's what I said. Mascotty vibes. <laughs> I love that she scares the shit out of them. Oi <laughs> toi I love that. I'm gonna keep saying that now. Ah, oh, she's so cool. I love her. Oh, Haichi. I, f I didn't know who they were talking about. I forget her name's not Nagatoro. Well, it is, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you better get going. I'm my side, boy. He stood up for you, though. I hope you saw that. Oh, did she see it? Nice. Love that for you, bro. You did great. They're so sweet. He he enjoys the bullying, but they're so they're actually such good friends of each other. And like I said, I like I like seeing relationships where they're really comfortable around each other. It's so sweet. I wonder what they're gonna pick. A koala? Why is it because it reminds you of senpai or something? 
a koala. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> I'm keeping that in the video. That's too funny. I wonder if she's drawing him drawing the sloth. I almost said koala again. My god. Damn, that's a good picture. A sloth. <laughs> she definitely drew him. That's funny. She, you know what? That's a pretty good drawing. Especially the hands. Hands are the worst thing to draw. That's a very good drawing. Especially since it's a sketch, too. Like, she got some good shading in there. She made the hair look good. She didn't give him any pupils, though. Right, so that was Miss Nagatoro, episode 2. Um, that was a really freaking good episode. I really enjoyed that. It's so nice to see these two just be how they are around each other. Obviously, the point in the show is just Nagatoro being so goddamn sadistic, but she clearly really likes him. He clearly likes her. Neither of them have figured this out, however. Uh, well, I, I feel like he's they're starting to see elements of you know, the, them having feelings for each other, but... I really like it. Um, very sweet episode. Senpai got some little, little bit of growth right there, which was nice. Um, and yeah, it's just they're just a very, in a weird way, they're they're a comfort couple. I don't know. Do you guys get what I mean? But yeah, overall, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an assist of your day, and peace out.